Compressed air is an essential energy source, with up to 70% of industries using it for some aspect of their operations. The component that connects everything together in a compressed air system is the piping. The compressed air piping can make or break the profitability of an enterprise. Mostly, old and worn out mild steel piping are seen in MSME industries for carrying compressed air. Inefficient compressed air distribution systems result in higher energy bills, lower productivity and decline in the performance of the air tool. Some important reasons for the compressed airline losses are Incorrect pipe sizing leading to large pressure drops Loosely installed connectors and aging pipes are the main reasons for leakages Sharp angles impede the speed of flow, reducing pressure A 90 degree bend can lead to 0 0.20 to 0.35 bars of pressure loss Moisture clogs nozzles, contaminating pipe material and creating rough surfaces Particle accumulation causes obstruction and blockage in the airstream. A properly designed compressed air network system should have a pressure loss of much less than 10% at the end point. The ring main system is an energy efficient alternative in piping. The design includes a closed loop ring line along the area where compressed air consumption takes place. Branch pipes connect the loop to various consumption points. This provides uniform compressed air supply, despite heavy intermittent usage. As the air is led to the actual point of consumption from two directions, a reduction in the delivery pressure by one bar in a compressor can reduce the energy consumption by 6 to 10%. An efficient compressed air system can provide significant long-term benefits. Low pressure drop between the compressor and point of consumption minimum leakage from the distribution pipe, efficient condensate separation if a compressed air dryer is not installed. In addition to piping network, pipe material plays an important point in determining system efficiency and high density polyethylene pipe is one such example. As an alternative material, HDPE is increasingly finding its way for an efficient compressed air piping network. An HDPE pipe consists of three layers, the innermost layer being the polyethylene layers followed by a thin layer of aluminium and with an upper coating of polyethylene. The aluminium layer is bonded with the polyethylene layer using high quality adhesive. Cost of installation of HDPE compressed air pipeline ranges from 480 rupees to 550 per meter. The benefits of HDPE pipes over conventional metal pipes are No corrosion, hence no rust in airflow Smooth interior allows laminar flow The pipes are lightweight, hence easy to transport and fit Cutting is far easier than metal pipes Plastic pipes can be glued together, which is less costly and quicker than welding metal An energy efficient compressed air line setup can save energy to the tune of 15 to 20 percent. These composite pipes actually what we have used these are the maintenance free they are helping in reducing the air leakages so once actually leakage is reduced indirectly actually we are saving the power because supplier actually they claim that the life is almost about 60 years. HDPE pipeline evolves out to be a better solution due to improved operating and maintenance conditions. To understand the cost-benefit analysis of an energy-efficient compressed air piping network, let us consider a unit having a 250 cubic feet per minute compressor running on 80% loading running for 7920 hours annually. Considering saving of 15% compressed air, the unit can get a saving of around 60,000 units of electricity annually leading to a monetary benefit of around 390000 rupees the investment required for the energy efficient compressed air piping network considering 1000 meter line is around 7 lakh rupees which can be recovered within 2 years time the efficiency of compressed air distribution system can be enhanced with regular maintenance 
pipeline should be carefully checked for leakage. When selecting material, remember that each has a rating for pressure and temperature. Some local codes will not allow HTPE piping in the overhead systems because of potential byproducts in the event of a fire. Expansion joints must be provided in these types of pipe as they will expand and contract due to both interior and ambient temperature changes. There are many SME clusters who are energy intensive and they need to implement latest energy efficient technologies. B is implementing program so that we can share the latest energy efficient technologies with these SME units so that they can save their energy cost, they can improve their competitiveness and also help towards a sustainable development.